When I was a kid, my parents, they, they lived to dance. They went dancing every weekend. I mean every weekend. If something got in the way, if they had to go to a funeral or they had to go to something else, a, a big party or something, okay. But otherwise, they went dancing. My father played the fiddle. And my brothers played the guitar. And they, there was a dance at our house every Saturday night. Every Saturday night. And I guess I learned how to dance by the time I learned how to walk. My mama taught me how to dance when I was five and a half. And I got a little better every year because she was strict about it. She was serious. So when I got to be nine, nine and a half, I was a pretty good dancer. Well, what was going on? The older girls that were there, like 13, they wanted to dance. Most of the 13 and 12 year old boys could not dance. So w what did they look for? Where's old Al? I know he dances. And that was a pretty good thing for a little nine and a half year old boy to be able to do, you know? The Texas Playboys, when they were playing with us, I've never been with any group of musicians who like to have fun like those guys did. Not only were we learning Western swing, but it was just a good feeling. You felt good inside. You felt like this is one of the better days of my life, you know? And I'm not kidding. That sounds like an extreme thing to say, but it's the truth. Many times, old Al tears up because it's, it's that was that meaningful of a point in my life to uh, meet these guys and learn this music with them, but then learn how to have fun with it. That was, that was pretty special. <laughs>